All right, Shalom. One. First and foremost, I like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rachah Kodash, and double honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone that rule well. Peace and blessings to the elect. This is the book of Titus, chapter 2, and verse 1. It says, But speak thou the things which become sound doctrine. I like that. It says, But speak thou the things which become sound doctrine. That is all I have to speak. And um, let, me, let me look at some translation comparisons. Uh, and the NLT, it says, As for you, Titus, promote the kind of living that reflects wholesome teaching. See? Provoke, promote the kind of living that projects wholesome teaching. And promote the kind of living that reflects wholesome teaching. And the reason why I started off with that precept is because as of recent, uh, when I say as of recent, I'm talking about as of recent, recent, <laughs> which is in the past uh, three days, and the most recent video that was done was yesterday by this guy, all right, this Trinidadian called Managan, and this next American Trinidadian called Malak. But the last one that was done by Managan on um, what the New Testament, the New Testament, the New Testament, all right, which Yahweh Shai, our Lord, the scriptures does say he is the mediator of the New Testament, the middleman of that, right? But we are not under that, uh, in the sense of, uh, we under that testament as of right now, brethren. No, off. We waiting to, we waiting. What was the patience? Men was waiting. Men was patiently waiting for what? All right, we under grace as of right now. Yahushua's blood brought that to us. All right, and by Yahushua also. Um, dying and rising from the dead he was the ultimate sacrifice so we need not do any more sacrifices anymore Yahushua's blood also covered that as well and a new and a high priest after the order Melchizedek was established fulfilling the promise made to him by um, his Lord in, in Psalms 110 all right Psalms 110 verse 1 Okay. But you see, you guys all you want to do is just tell Israel <coughs> not to keep the laws, not to keep the laws. We are to keep the laws of the Heavenly Father. Why why wouldn't we keep the laws? If you, if the Lord say if you love me, keep my commandments. Alright? Why wouldn't you? But sound doctrine and wholesome, wholesome living, these men don't have it. And it's not just them, it's a whole heap of them. And it's all men like, <coughs> yeah, I believe, I believe, this is their teachers, this one here. I was watching piece of their video yesterday. I believe this one on the right goes back to the old school, his name is Sha. Is he, is he named by? Sh what? Fuck. Sh look at the idea. Shaya Allah. Shaya Allah. And I believe he was on Montel Williams <coughs> in the 90s. Yeah. And <coughs> since then he has, I guess, I don't know the whole story, but these two men are teaching the gospel of Christ. Um. Christ is not the name of the Lord and Savior. And if you go back to the old school in one West, you would know that. <coughs> because that is where the name Yahweh Bahasham Yahushai came out of. Okay. But you see, <coughs> what does tend to go on is men does tend to get weary. Alright? So this is the book of Luke chapter 14. 
and verse I read I read um verse eleven says for whosoever exalted himself shall be abased <coughs> and he that humbled himself shall be exalted okay and that is the thing men in humble they, they're not humble humble in the sense you take reproof you take reproof let me say you're going off in adoption you take reproof you try and you bring it up in a line to the apostles and what they say that i will learn from all right and and malak is a man that he won who was there <coughs> um, who did that video with managan on the new covenant and understanding it and whatnot right um he, he taught that jacob had 11 sons at one point he, that was his doctrine in my house he te- it was still teaching me that and at that moment uh, more than one witness that myself the howard the matanaya can't remember if the brother Kalab was there i believe Kalab was there too i can't remember fully but he was teaching that at one point that Jacob had 11 sons and, and all of these different ideologies in his head. And when he got reproved, he didn't correct it. Um, this one Managan, the new moon, and, and all kind of. And then he coming out to talk about who observing signs. His whole doctrine when he was in Great Millstone was to observe signs. Right? Because why they didn't humble themselves, and I, I, and it's the same thing with their teachers. They weren't taught, all right. Um, uh, uh, um, what is the name? Of it? They weren't taught Jesus Christ. Do you know Jesus Christ is a, is an idol? Jesus Christ is the figment of the imagination of an Edomite man. All right. Put on the face of the earth for we to worship in 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 this Babylon captivity that we're in over here on the west. That is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is not hey, all praises they have about Shami or Shai, Lai Walam Yam. Alright? Jesus Christ is not the God of the Bible. Alright? So now read <coughs> I'm going to read um, verse, verse 25. It says, And there were great multitudes with them, and he turned and said unto them, uh, if, if any man come to me and hate not his father, and his and mother, and wife, and children, and brethren, and sisters, he and his own life, also he cannot be my disciple. And these men was holding on to something. And that is what we can't do in this suit, holding on to something in this world. That, that, that more important than the Lord. The Lord is the most important thing, or the most important aspect of your life, rather. Your how about Shami or Shai? Like the most important aspect of your life. Your life is supposed to consist everything around Him. And if you have any other thing else, well, then we try our best to fit that in. You don't try your best to fit in the Lord. The Lord is your life. You try your best to fit in any other thing. Like going on in your life with your children you try your best to fit in your mother you try your best to fit in your job you try your best to fit in your wife as much as you could but the lord comes first <coughs> these men didn't put the lord first they put whatever other thing that going on in their life first and then what eventually the lord will get rid of him because you cannot be the lord disciple if you're putting anything else before him the scripture it, and and that and that echoes the lord our lord the, that statement that yahushua just made echoes the um statement of yahweh all right his father when he said he's a jealous power because it's the same thing so the father and the son is the same thing all right I is him being jealous because you're trying to put some before him. Okay? It says, And whosoever that not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. It says, For which of you intending to build a tower? Alright? Sit it not down first and come to the course whether he had sufficient to finish it. And that is a true thing. That is a true thing. 
they building something you had a con i recently did a piece of construction and i went on on pages and i do i do um estimates and how much money i would i need to do this to do that to do the other to have this that and the other and if you if you if you ain't do that you may know how much money you could have you know and it's the same thing when you come into this walk when you come into this way of life and i think these men don't understand now men who come into this thing understand this if you're now coming into this thing this thing is a way of life it's not something to do it's an application of knowledge to the way how you conduct yourself on the earth and the knowledge has come from the heavenly father yahweh bashami outside which is the highest form of knowledge that you can receive as a hin- as an individual and israelite at that because it have people that receive knowledge and ways of life from different um doctrines and the, the way our life doesn't lead to anything else but death but this way our life leads unto more life all right life unto life as it says in second corinthians the second chapter the 6 15 16 verse go down all right but that is what you come that is what you gain yourself into it's not something geo far away so when you come into this thing no you're coming into our way of life sit down and come the course because if you ain't come the course and you realize that hey shit i might i might finish this thing they will leave because you're coming into this thing and you ain't counting you ain't, you ain't putting it in your back of your mind that hey this is for the rest of my life that is where you're supposed to put it this year is for the rest of my life any other thing in my life get um, put to the side and this is for the rest of my life no men just come in and men just put this for a time period because they encounter in the court the lord never give you a sufficient a specific date on when he is returning so you are to wait until he comes that is the whole thing you are to wait until he comes Remember that. Hold on to that. And have faith. And I think men just lose faith. How it is you? No, the Lord, I fell up, see the Lord do it to many people. So that's why you have to be humble. And you have to be sincere. All these traits you have to keep within your vessel. And don't let leaven and pride. Right now we in the feast of Passover. Don't let leaven, don't let pride get in your way of salvation. How it is you as a man who get have videos of, of you speaking one thing, right? And then videos of you speaking another thing. And let me say you used to watch them two videos. How you what 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 you will be thinking in your head as a man? Wouldn't you see some form of hypocrisy within your own self? And that is what going on with Malak. Yeah, yeah, hypocrisy. Because at one point you was teaching what we teaching and it have videos of that still. And now you're teaching something completely contrary. So if you used to sit down and watch these two videos, how you gonna feel about yourself? Whatever the scripture say in the book of Ephesians, the fourth chapter, the, these four 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 and about seventeen, eighteen, nineteen come now. Past feeling. These men have no feeling. They pass that their conscience on some kind of revenge spirit but nevertheless uh, fin- count the course sit down weigh out your options and if you realize hey this because this b- before you come in this again you will understand men brothers will tell you hey this thing is serious business this is your life and death count the course weigh out your options say hey if this life and it and mean ready to dead well then if you ain't ready to dead well then don't put your hand to the plow because if you put your hand to the plow you make yourself a partake of the blood and a and a and a and a, and a person who understanding or who gain to understand your how was shy you're putting yourself under that blood of your how was shy and then if you if you if you realize you start that and then you you you're faulty on on your oath 
the Lord will hold your ransom and, 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 and the Lord will hold you accountable for his knowledge and you will hold you accountable for misusing his blood and misusing his grace like it was wasting his time and the Lord will play with his time you will mash up you will freaking hit you um, the worst destruction you could ever think about so sit down and count the course alright and when you count the course you're going to understand where you're getting yourself involved in and when, when you make that decision you say hey, hey. like why we don't just bring brothers in the camp and think just like that we don't just I, 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 I believe I'm Israelite and you run up I believe I'm Israelite boy and then you have a layer, hold our garment, throw on our garment, and um, you have a layer where we start to do the works. No, no, we examine. Then through examination, and then when we see a thing, 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 bam, 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 man looking serious, he looking serious, he looking like he down for the secret to come in. And even a person that let a heart say, no new brothers in Great Millstone. So, nevertheless. It says verse 29 let's happily after he had laid the foundation yeah the foundation is who you have a shy you're poor on your shy you start to learn of your shy you take off your yoke you start to learn of him you start to believe but then our offense come then something that you don't understand come then your wife leaves then your children start to disrespect you your children your wife turn your kids against you. Then you lose everything that you had in the flesh. After you lay the foundation. Put that in your head before so you know whenever it come. Hey, the Lord did already prepare me for this. And that is why we just do edifying, exhorting videos. Brothers, you will lose real a lot of things. Hold on. That is why we just tell brothers them things. Only great millstone does do them things. They die the only Israelite camp that is whole that is teach brothers them things. Nathan them don't teach them things. It says after he had laid the foundation and is not able to finish it. Because he, he's supposed to build a tower. <laughs> a tower that tower being him in the Lord. The foundation is your house, but he's supposed to build on that foundation. And you start a boy, you run up five blocks and you say, boy, this thing fucking hard, boy. It was easy how they for me, yes? To say it was easy how they, you have a shy more easy than anything. The simplicity of the Lord. Right? It says, Lady Foundation is not able to finish it. All that behold, it begin to mock him and look up the meaning of that word, mock. The word muck come from the Greek. Strong's G seventeen oh two Pizzo and Pizzo. Right, it says to play with instead of play instead of play with him, to trifle with, to muck, to delude, to deceive. Alright, to deride, to j to laugh at you. And I I being real I watched that video and I laugh at, at these brothers especially the proud Malak because he's the pro he boy if I ask them a question I say I tell them I say ah to stop doing the works I when you know guys I say to stop doing the works and I done see only a fool wouldn't after that about two weeks after you didn't see him for you didn't see him and then you see him for four years after he says saying this man begin began to build and was not able to finish <coughs> he began to build and he wasn't able to finish or what king going to make war against another king sit it not down first and consulted whether he be able with 10,000 to meet him that cometh against him with 20,000. 
or else while the other is yet a great way off he sendeth an ambassage and desired conditions of peace because he's say by only a ten but if my ten are only stronger than him twenty I could take him but if you realize in in would he go to cancel the war and that what is going on with men men just cancel this fight so likewise whosoever he be of you that forsaketh not all that he had he cannot be my he cannot be my disciple cannot be my disciple and that is the words of our Lord and Savior Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai alright you have to forsake all that you have to hold on to nothing in this world because this world scripture say the fashions of this world pass it away alright the fashions of this world go and pass First Corinthians seven and twenty nine, and I'll highlight it. Twenty nine to thirty one, and it says, "But this I say, brethren, the time is short. It remaineth that both they that have wives be as though they had none." And I, I said, even if you have a wife, don't even hold on to your wife. Alright? Like, hey, let me say, like the law say, you get a man who get a new wife, he's not to go out to war. Yeah, let, let me say, you know, come in the truth and you, you get a wife, hey, fuck that, I go into war. Because <laughs> this is a war. Don't let your wife, don't you say, I know my other wife and I had to go and sit and tell my wife. Like, go oh, um, the men and them when you have a shy, you have a shy, you have a shy, see. Um, I believe that is in the same look where I was now reading there. I was, I, I didn't see it. Let me see. Right, yeah, same look 14. Um, Luke 14 16 then said he unto him a certain man made a great supper and paid many and sent his servant at supper time to say to them that were paid and come for all things are now ready and they all with one concern began to make excuses the first said unto him I have bought a piece of ground I must needs go and see it I pray thee have me excused Another and another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen, I, I and I go to prove them. I pray thee have me excused. And another said, I have married a wife, and therefore I cannot come. <coughs> right? And that is the thing. Because the, the, the wife that go back that go back to the laws. You know, get your wife and you other stay I believe it's a stay here. Yeah? You see. Twenty twenty four and five. <clears throat> say when a man hath taken a new wife, he shall not go out to war, neither shall he be charged with any business. But he shall be free at home. One year, and shall cheer up his wife, which he hath taken. But but the scripture now say there, scripture now say there, that brethren. But this I say, brethren, the time is short. It remained that both they that have wives be as though they had none because they get called to this thing. And then you know what Yahweh Shai say? Yahweh Shai say, don't even bother with them. Because the supper is this word, this ministry, this, this truth. Alright? The work. And the Lord come to them and they, they, they say, nah, nah, nah. I have things to do. And them, they didn't get it. They didn't eventually, they didn't get it. All right, they didn't get it eventually. 
So that servant, verse 21, so that servant came and showed his Lord all these things. And the master of the house, being angry, said to his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and lances of the city, and bring in hither the poor, the maimed, and the halt, and the blind. And the servant said, Lord, it is done as thou hast commanded, yet there is room. All right? And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the, into the highways and hedges, and compel them to come in, that my house may be filled. For I say unto you, that none of those men which were bidden shall taste of my supper. Because why? They weren't fucking ready. They weren't um, serious, basically, about the coming of the Lord, and what he was bringing to them. The food that he had for them to eat. They didn't want it. They didn't want it. Alright? Hey, scripture also said the Lord shall save the tents of Judah first. And they didn't they didn't want it. And the Lord went and get what? The Israelite foreigners who, who desired it to provoke them also to jealousy. And you men outside who wouldn't want it, the Lord will do you the same fucking thing, man. Yeah, they get serious. Yeah, they get serious about the Lord. Alright? So back in First Corinthians 7. But this I say, brethren, the time is short to three minutes that both they that have wives be as though they had none. And they that weep as though they wept not. Like it had one who say he father dead, so him go and bury father. You rather mourn for your father, don't, don't even weep. Just like Ezekiel. Ezekiel, the Lord tell Ezekiel, go and take his wife. And don't cry, and Ezekiel had to deal with that. It says, and they that rejoice as though they rejoice not, and they that buy as though they possess not. That is the fella with the piece of parcel of land. And the yoke of oxen. Don't even function like you own anything. You had a tent to this and you had a tent to that. You had a tent to the Lord and in ministry. You know, shy the man who say, you go and bury father. You have shy tell him, let the dead bury the dead and follow me. And they that use this world as not abusing it for the fashion of this world pass it away and I the thing. It have nothing in this world to hold on to. So you come into this truth, count your course. Because you could end up like these men and who countless and countless and countless at times has always show up around the Passover. Alright? These are things that strike fear into your heart. Strike fear into your mind. That the Lord could do a human being this. All praises they have about Shami or Shai. Always. That proves that the Heavenly Father and the power that we serve is the true power of heaven and earth. That is what that has proof. That proves that He is the true God. Because what we He could do a human being? What other power you just see men that when men leave, they just, just go mad by it. When men were serving him, they was in the right mind. And as they leave, they're going mad. Whatever what that power you see just do that. Jesus Christ do do that. Jesus Christ will do that. Only one power does do that. By the Heavenly Father. And you know why he does do that? He does make manifest you. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Your ways. Alright? <sighs> Man, if it, hey. Pray in sincerity and the next thing say prayers. Prayers. Kneel long and pray. 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 Say prayers to the most high. Pray. Them men, I believe them them men. You can't be saying your prayers and humbling yourself before the Lord and the Lord. Uh, 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 and, and reached the last state where men wasn't praying that the Heavenly Father is merciful and if you trust in his mercies then and with faith which the Lord could do you what he want 
if you're really trusting in mercies as he showed countless times in the scriptures just like with our our king king david the lord will have mercy on you if you're sincere by which ultimately come down to the chosen but hey if you're trusting in mercy mercy the mercy i mercy the mercy will have mercy on you if you, if you do wrong by trusting in mercy on you one you know you know it's not that he won't do it, he could do it, but hey, he, he, would, he might think twice, he might say, nah, boy. Nah, nah, nah. I ain't go, I ain't go doing that, boy, because he's sincere. Just like, just like the man who did ask the dung it. Right, Luke 13 and 6 says, He also he spake also a parable. This parable a certain man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he came about and sought fruit thereon and found none. Then said he unto the dresser of his vineyard. Behold, these three years I come seeking fruit of this fig tree, and I find none. Cut it down. Why come it? Why cumber it the ground? Alright? A fig tree represent a man who in the who are around the, the ministry. Alright? Yahweh Shai. And Yahweh Shai bring you around the ministry. You're in the, you're in the faith. You in the vineyard, the vineyard is Israel. Alright, it tells you that in the book of um, Isaiah, uh, Isaiah 5. Now I, now I will sing my, to my well beloved a song of my beloved touching his vineyard. My well beloved had a vineyard in a very fruitful hill. Um, and he fenced it and gathered out the stones thereof and planted it with the choicest vine and built a tower in the midst of it and also made a wine press therein and he looked that it should bring forth grapes and it brought forth wild grapes and no inhabitants of Jerusalem and men of Judah judge I pray you between me and my vineyard what could have been done more to my vineyard that I have not done in it? Wherefore, when I looked that it should bring forth grapes, brought it forth wild grapes. Right? So jump into verse 7. It says, For the vineyard of Yahweh Basham Yahweh of hosts is the house of Israel and the men of Judah his pleasant plant. So that is the vineyard of the Lord. And he looked for judgment, but behold oppression for righteousness, but behold he cry. So when you go back to Luke 13, it says, um, A certain man had a, had, a, had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, right? Just like Yahushua, he saw the fig tree and cursed it because it didn't bear fruit. That was representing men who was on shit, right? And that is what his fig tree represents the same way. And he came and saw fruit thereon and found none. See, the trees going, the tea trees, this tree thing could go straight back to the garden. It says, Then said he unto the dresser of his vineyard, Behold, these three years I come seeking fruit on this fig tree and find none. Cut it down, get, get rid of it. Right? To the Lord could let the uh, elders, the apostles, the camp leader, whatever, monitor you because eyes always on you. And the Lord say, if you, if he just did, 
he just there it's three years now going and he just there and he in elevate he in go further he in add nothing to the body get rid of the, get rid of he now right get rid of he in bearing no fruit he in doing nothing he in bringing out a precept he just there right hands in the pocket watching up and down you know um right it says and he and he answering said unto him lord let it alone this year also till i shall dig it about and dung it and if it be a fruit well and if not then after thou shalt cut it down yeah you get mercy so so brothers my come and exhort you hey hey start a fucking work where you get wake up now i am i you get kicked out of this thing by I with the exhortation is coming and then that we say if it be a fruit well. Give my give give my again. You get mercy and I the Lord, the Lord can show you mercy. But if you ain't praying and you ain't doing the things necessary, the Lord will show you mercy. God might deal with you as a cast. You cast you out. He asks this this Keep her even your acts for mercy for the fig tree that wasn't bearing fruit. And if the Lord will give mercy, Lord will give him Lord merciful. Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah is merciful. Scripture says mercy endured forever. Alright? Hey, give all praises to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah, Eli Walam Yamai. Telling you. So yeah, hey, hopefully you've been edified and until the next time I say shallow to the elect. Shallow one.